Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Gemini, the relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple this month. I'm going to go ahead and pull individual energy for Scorpio. And then I'll pull individual energy for uh, Gemini. I'm using these cards. It's like Monty Barber or whatever. They're, you know, the husband-wife couple. They are the weirdest work. But I'm going to try them. I think I tried these before. I'm not disappointed with them. They're not bad. Scorpio, what is your individual energy right now? Where are you right now? What are your energies? What are your energies towards this relationship? Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Scorpio, I'm showing here there's something having to do with being a seeker. Uh, whatever happened here, I feel like you may have taken time to step out. Be in spirituality, the seeker of truth. I feel like you guys are being analytical. I feel like you guys are extremely spiritual at this time, but you're also paying attention to your intuition as well. Um, now here, the seeker, the meaning of life is to seek ways to give your life meaning. All right, so some of you guys are trying to go within, being grateful for what it is you have, having compassion for others, trying to help others. So I do see that energy here with the seeker. This might, I feel like this has to do with a, a life purpose or or something like that too. One more. Oh, okay, this way. Oh, Scorpio, the drama queen. Now something's going on here. It says that you're looking for a new beginning in something, looking to see if there's an opportunity or potential in a matter. There's a situation here in this relationship where I feel like you were looking to find harmony. I feel like you were trying to heal from something. I feel like again, I'm seeing here where there's a lot of reflection. I feel like there's a lot of you assessing things. I feel like for some of you guys, this does have a lot to do with new beginnings, but it also talks about you guys, again, being a caregiver, right? Um, don't ask me where I got that from. I also feel like there are changes coming about, all right? I feel like this is something having to do with adventure or something having to do with being adaptable or something like that. Seeker, drama queen, conflict, change, instability. Seeker, what are you looking for, Scorpio? Give me more. Give me more. The visionary. Scorpio, I feel like here you are trying to manifest stability in a situation where at some point maybe there was a foundation that wasn't steady. Um, I also feel like for you guys, I feel like you maintain being dependable, trustworthy. Let me see. Get that back in focus because every time you... Um, I also feel like here you guys are looking to end some kind of a cycle, which is why you're looking to get rid of the drama. How can I get rid of the drama? How can I get rid of the conflict? How can I get rid of the feeling of instability, right? Um, and I think some of you guys go as far as to get rid of the problem. I feel like they're in the cycles here. This could be the end of the relationship. I do feel like for some of you guys, uh, there's a shift here. How the shift plays out, hmm. That might be a little bit of a, I don't know. But I feel like you guys are looking to complete something or understand something. There's something that you're seeking to find out. Gemini, give me your energy, please, towards this relationship. Is that one flipped? All right, I'm not taking it. I just didn't feel, I didn't feel like I should take it, so I'm not going to take it. I didn't see it either. Scorpio and Gemini. Gemini, what's your energy? What is your energy? What's your energy? Gemini, the peacemaker, I want partnership, I want balance, I feel like Gemini is also looking for stability as well, I feel like, I feel like Gemini is looking for stability as well with the peacemaker here, let me see what this means, the peacemaker, it's time to make peace, you will get much further on your path through kind, like through kind acts and words than by forcing your will Wait a minute. Then you will by forcing things or vengeance. All right. I feel like this is advice for you guys. I feel like you guys are in this energy where you want some kind of peace in something. And I feel like you guys are starting to understand that there are certain ways to go about doing things. You know when they say you get more with sugar? Like that. So I feel like you guys are hoping to get some kind of peace. But in order to gain this peace, you have, it has to be through kindness, right? So whatever way you were navigating before, you're being advised that... Forcing things, right? Forcing. Remember, forcing things or vengeance. You know, taking, getting back at somebody for what I feel like you did. You know, I'm going to do this because you did that. Like, tit for tat. 
type of energy. I now want peace. I don't want to operate like that anymore. I feel like you guys are looking for some kind of uh, foundation. I feel like you guys are looking to uh, really be diplomatic in your, your thinking, the way you guys think. I also see here, let's see, the manifester. Yep, you guys are trying to manifest something. I feel like for some of you guys, you guys are looking for a new beginning in the matter. I also feel like this is about expressing yourself and manifesting what it is you want. Manifesting what you want, right? Is It doesn't always have to be verbal. Verbal. It can be with actions. You may not say anything as you move. Or you could be verbal about it. Monitoring your inner dialogue and using quantum affirmations daily can help you make real your desired life changes um yeah i feel like there's an element of frustration here i feel like there is um some negativity some action of negativity that you're being advised to work on so you can manifest what it is you want hmm, pointing out some stuff here give me uh give me one more for gemini please what is your energy i want to manifest i'm a visionary i'm a peacemaker sage expression groups growth these cards have to do with manifesting stability again creativity artistic creativity friendly communication all right i feel like you guys are being advised to to whatever i feel like this is a very difficult situation and i feel like it's a situation where you could easily yell scream holler whatever and i feel like you guys really don't you want to stay away from that i feel like you might want to stay away from that because you're going to find your path easier if you are cooperative in a sense right or at least try and change your perspective like listen i don't want to argue with you the best way for me to deal with you after this breakup or whatever happened here is for for us to just be nice Let, let's let's talk on the phone for five minutes about the kids if we have to you know uh whatever you, you guys understand it's like about making peace so I think that's where we are at the moment. Scorpio, when I look at this, I see Scorpio might be in a very stagnant place here, or at least was in this relationship. I feel like I'm looking at people who have two different paces in terms they want to do something. In some cases, this could be about an age difference. I do see Scorpio here who seems to be a little bit more, um, I want to say established. As a matter of fact, when we have the Ten of Pentacles reverse, it talks about Scorpio is established or comfortable or something like that. To the point where, yeah, I think I'll watch TV today. No big deal. I'll wake up at 12. Ha! Ah, I think tomorrow I'm going to wake up at 1, 1 p.m. I can watch TV. Scorpio, you're being advised to utilize your skills that you have. You are being advised that whatever free time you have, it needs to be spent um, getting some kind of knowledge, teaching people, something like that. So you need to be a little bit more active. On the surface, I'm going to say Scorpio may not has, have been as involved as they could have been here is what I'm feeling, right? Um, I also feel like for some of you guys, you just need to, to keep, you need to be more involved. And I feel like that could have been part of the problem here. I also see here, and I can confirm that something maybe Scorpio's, Scorpio's, uh, what's the best word? Your actions, your behavior, whatever, it, it became stagnant. Like there was no movement. With the temperance card i feel like it could have been that gemini was waiting for you to do something i see a waiting game here and i see somebody here also uh, with the magician card who was looking to have these opportunities i'm looking for vision so i don't know if this is a business thing where you feel well where gemini feels like you could have helped out a little bit more but scorpio you seem to be a little bit more stable than i see gemini all right now i also see here too if you really want me to get to it um, so Scorpio, I see that at the end of the day, I see where you were carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, right? In this relationship, because like I said, I feel like you were a little bit more established, but you still had the liberty of getting up at 1 p.m. or whatever you were doing, right? I feel like the weight of the world, I feel like, you know, it looks like a woman carrying a child or whatever, or however this goes. It's something that is expanding, growing, helping people. It's the Empress card. So it talks about some of you guys could have just had a new child on a, on a surface level. So there's new children here. Um, but I also feel like, Scorpio, there's this need for you to now nurture yourself. So this starts to make a little bit more sense when it comes to the seeker. There's something that I'm looking for. But I feel like this seeker energy came only after whatever happened with you and Gemini. It looks like Gemini, uh, I don't know who took off, but this is about recovery. So I'm going to say you guys are broken up. <clears throat> I feel like with the Ten of Swords energy for Gemini... Uh, there are some old cycles that they need to let go of as well. They're going to let these things go, or they're trying to. It's a sign of recovery after a breakup. So I don't feel like you guys are together. Um, I feel like there's something having to, having to do with the past here that you guys are still stuck on. 
all right? I feel like you're at this in-between stage of coming out of something that was difficult and moving over into calm waters because this is dealing with things from the past, all right? So at the end of the day, the Ten of Swords for you, Gemini, simply means that you guys need to make a clean break from the past, meaning you have to let it all go, right? You have to understand who you are, these new developments that come after a breakup or a divorce or whatever is here, how you become this new person, but you're still you. But there's certain things that you have to put to rest. And I feel like some of you guys are still in the healing phases of, or recovery phases of some sort of a breakup here with you, Scorpio. Now, the Magician card talks about you guys really having this self-development thing, right? So after the storm happened, after this happened, I now have to develop who I am into this new life, da 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 da, -da. I was waiting for somebody who... Um, you know, they, they didn't have the foresight or I don't want to say foresight. They either didn't have the foresight or they did not share your vision, which is why, sorry about that guys, which is why we have this dynamic here. We have somebody with the magician card who's focused on my creativity. I'm trying to turn my visions on too. Now the visionary, if you look at Scorpio's energy, it comes after, right? Because this is after, we're reading this is after the storm, these down here. Sorry about the, I don't know what that is. It could be a car, it could be a motorcycle, whatever. So, uh, yeah, I feel like this energy, I feel like Scorpio gains this energy only after. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm not going to downplay Scorpio's role in this. Scorpio was very supportive to the point where they felt like they were carrying the world on their shoulders. But I feel like Scorpio may have recognized, yeah, I could have been a little bit more involved here. I could have been a little bit more involved, whatever this is, right? So, Gemini, with your self-development, this is a time of action, this is a time of new relationship. So I feel like Gemini has moved on to a new relationship. Now, for some of you guys, this could be a breakup. And for some of you guys, you could actually be getting together. I know that sounds crazy, but it's possible. We also have the Fool card reversed here. So look at this. We have the Magician and we have the Fool card reversed here for Gemini. So those are some serious life changes. But the same thing here for Scorpio too. Major Arcana cards. We have the Empress, we have the Temperance. So we do see some changes or some issues or some things that you guys are dealing with. Issues that you are recognizing need to be worked on as you carry over into your next relationships. Or as you start this new relationship, however it goes for you. right? So I feel like um, here with the Fool card, I feel like there's something where Gemini is not necessarily ready to move on. It might not be the right time for them to move on. All right. Um, but I feel like, again, this is more about self-development. This is more about who do I become? What do I do after this breakup or after this event happened? Right. Where you start to change your tone a little bit. You're like, I start to focus on myself too. So I say two people really, um, needing to nurture themselves but for Gemini the independent action at this time whatever it is you're trying to do so you guys might have these big ideas um where hey you know I'm not in a relationship anymore I'm not married anymore I'm gonna go and try to do this I'm gonna be a wrestler oh I'm gonna be a human Barbie doll yep I'm gonna get on a reality show you know I'm gonna do all of this stuff whatever right the cards are telling you Gemini that you need to be very mindful of what the differences are between fantasy and reality right so you might have these big dreams but you know you have to be realistic and nobody's telling you to go quit your job and all this other stuff but whatever that means i'm just saying now this is where it gets weird right we have the eight of wands reversed here so somebody might have to leave Somebody did leave. Somebody might have to get a job. It could be both of you guys. I feel like two people on a journey. So if you guys got job offers to move cross country, I don't think anybody would care. All right. But I do feel like Gemini has a choice. I feel like Scorpio has a choice, but I also feel like Gemini has a choice here. Um, you guys have this opportunity to go move somewhere for work. All right. Um, I know that some of you guys may not want to go, but it might be something that you have to do. So I feel like there are some decisions that need to be made here. For some of you guys, you're getting out of this situation just because you feel like it's the best thing to do at this point. Um, I also feel like here, you guys could be getting into relationships and partnerships and things like that. And you just need to take a minute and review everything before you make these decisions, right? So I feel like there could be some delays with decisions being made about something that you're supposed to respond to immediately. So if this is something where you have that 12 o'clock deadline, this is one of those things where I'm sending an email at 11.59, yes or no. I accept it or I do not. Something like that. All right. So I feel like there are some decisions here. I know this doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's kind of like a weird 
something stalled. Something could have just stopped because somebody decides to take a position somewhere. I keep getting this thing in about moving. You guys are moving somewhere. There's some kind of movement here. It might be delayed movement. Okay, it could be, you know, delayed movement because I see that there's some offers here. Offers, opportunities. How can I manifest what I want now that I have the time to do it? I'm going to free fall. I'm going to be a fool. I'm not going to really look before I leave. But it might not be the right time for you to make whatever major decision. So give me love. Show me what's going on with love here, please. What's going on with love in this connection with these guys? Reconciliation. We're still trying to decide whether or not we want to be together. Somebody's thinking about somebody. Someone from the past is returning into your life. Now, this could be you guys returning to each other. There could be delays. Somebody could be thinking about it. But there could be other people coming in from the past. Other relationships. People from the past that are coming in that might be, you know, presenting themselves. The cards are saying that you are having issues loving yourselves first, so I feel like this is something for both you guys to look at. Reconciliation, love. So if you guys are looking to reunite, but you didn't do the work in terms of loving yourself first, I don't know that that would work for you, right? So those are one of the things that need to be done, I guess, before you reconnect. But some of you guys are questioning unrequited love. Now, this is reverse. This is very important to me. I feel like there might be something with communication here. I say that because unrequited love. When I see unrequited love, if somebody loves somebody else more or whatever, or somebody doesn't know, I don't know how you feel about me. I don't know if you love me. I don't know this, I don't that. So I feel like there could be some conversations that need to be had before decisions are made. With the Eight of Wands, this is talking about typically fast, speed, things being done quickly, rapid, action, right? That's not the case. This is reversed because there's a lot of things that need to be figured out. Soulmate. I'm trying to figure out, are you my soulmate? The cards are saying, yeah. The cards are saying, yeah, I don't know. So, let me take a look at something else. Give me a card from, from Scorpio to Gemini. What do you have to say? From Scorpio to Gemini. Give me a card, please. Give me a card. I haven't completely, wait, I haven't been completely honest with you. Uh-oh. Gemini. Oh, is that why you, you took off? Oh, yeah, you took off. I think Gemini took off because Scorpio wasn't being upfront about something. Gemini, what do you have to say to Scorpio? What do you have to say to Scorpio? Ooh, this is going to go real good or real bad. The distance between us will not keep us up. Oh, yep, you guys separated. And I feel like you guys are still digging each other. Or something. The distance between us will not keep us apart. Give me one more. You know what? Let's go again. Give me Scorpio. From Scorpio to Gemini. From Scorpio to Gemini. You are in my heart now and forever. And I will always be faithful to you. Scorpio is being faithful. Okay. Give me one more. This is about separation. Do you, know, you guys have not let each other go. Wait. I want to hold you tight in my arms and whisper I love you. Oh my. Woo! Hmm. I don't know. You think you guys might need to have a conversation because it seems like there's some unsure feelings, but I see dedication. I know this is not for every Scorpio Gemini couple, but I see some dedication here. Ooh, whatever that was about. All right, I'm gonna pull uh, one more. I'm gonna pull one of these heart cards. Give me, uh, give me a card for this couple, please. What do they need to know? Advice, advice for this couple. I'm pulling the heart cards, guys. These. They're all over the place, and this is how it is, and I'm not... Okay. Now, give me a card for this couple, please. Give me a card for Scorpio and Gemini, September 2022. That was about... You know what I was about... Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Yeah, it might lead you guys back together as soulmates. I want to hold you in my arms and tell you I love you. You are in my heart now and forever, and I will always be faithful to you. This is real soap opera-esque. I haven't been completely honest with you. <laughs> the distance between us. Anyway, okay. That's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe.